One other one on this list I want to highlight is imposter phenomenon. Yeah. We often hear students um, commenting, and I myself still have this operating for me. Mm -hmm. I see your head shaking. You mm -hmm. probably have instances <laughs> of imposter phenomenon. It might be enacting itself right now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but the sense of imposter phenomenon then makes people feel like they're a phony. Yeah. Right, that they don't truly believe mm -hmm. in themselves or they don't believe that others believe in themselves enough to, for them to actually take up space yeah. in these um, academic communities or mm -hmm. in these social spaces right. that are necessary for them to get support and to flourish as, as people. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so I think that addressing imposter phenomenon is, is crucial for students. Crucial. Even just providing the framework of imposter phenomenon yes. is an intervention in and of right. itself. Exactly. That you can yeah. remind yourself whenever you hear that negative voice kind of rearing its ugly head, which all of us have, mm -hmm. right? Um, that you can counter it by saying, you're just imposter phenomenon. Mm -hmm. I truly mm -hmm. have these gifts and they're, right. they're meaningful. Yeah. So, so developing some of this positive self-talk mm -hmm. Um, addressing the narrative that we have for, for how we understand ourselves mm -hmm. can be extremely important.